Farmer Nathan to the rescue. It is crazy how fast your garden can go from perfectly fine. These are our walking onions that were perfectly fine on Saturday when we were out here spreading mulch. And now you can see they're covered in black little specks. Those are black aphids. So I'm getting ready to blast them off with the garden hose. And then we'll spray them with some hot pepper sauce water or cayenne pepper powder solution to see if we can get rid of the infestation. Here we go. It's that time of year again where the pests start to come out from their winter quarters and unfortunately the black aphids have hit our onions really hard. It is challenging when after the tender and care of that plant all winter long you see it just devastated by all these insects. Well thankfully we've known some natural tools to help us along the way just to try to help combat it when we have infestations like this. We don't use any pesticides or herbicides. I know some people like to use neem oil in particular, but one of my favorite remedies is you don't need anything fancy, just some sort of a dish soap. I suggest getting one that is sulfate free or all natural if possible, a spray bottle with a nozzle, and then Tabasco sauce. All you have to do, you fill this almost all the way up with water. And then you simply put, between three and five drops of, well, it's hard to do drops of soap, but roughly that volume of soap in the container and the about three or five drops of Tabasco sauce. You can use the powder. Actually, you can't use cayenne powder in a small spray bottle. I tried it and I clogged my spray bottle. It would work if you're using a larger sprayer, but with a small one, it doesn't dissolve enough. But I like the sauce a little bit better as it dissolves more readily in the water. Essentially what we're trying to do is aphids, in particular, breathe through their exoskeleton, that is their skin. So the soap will clog their, basically, their lungs and enable them to just fall off the plant and stop harming the plants. The Tabasco sauce is something to help deter them. A couple of drops of this and they'll have a tendency to not want to revisit that plant because they don't like the flavor nor the smell. So. If you have an issue with aphids, feel free to try this at home. We're going to continue to uh, see how this works for us with this particular type of aphid, and we'll let you know after the results. Once you have all the ingredients, give it a gentle twist. So you want those ingredients to be well incorporated, and it's ready for action. With this particular treatment, it's important to try to get all surfaces of the leaf. The soap will also help the Tabasco sauce to stick on it. And this is so that you get good coverage for preventing those aphids from wanting to return. Similar to homeopathic remedies for whether it's a cut, a bruise, or an abrasion, Sometimes it takes multiple applications over a short duration of time to get the same results as the stronger medication. So in this instance, neem oil, or if you go to a different type of pesticide, one application might take care of the issue. But when you're doing something that is all natural and safe, uh, you might have to do it more frequently. I suggest just keeping a close eye and monitoring to see how the aphids are doing in this particular instance. So check back every 12 hours to 24 hours and reapply as needed. If you have rain, that is something you also need to work around as rain does wash off the soap and the Tabasco sauce, making it less effective. Another thing to be mindful of is soap refracts sunlight. So if you have a nice sunny day, 
it's important not to do this right before the heat of the day. Otherwise, some of those sun rays may be pinpointed on your leaves and cause micro burn holes, which is detrimental to the health of the plant. So I suggest either early morning or sometime during the evening for this application method. So we had two weeks straight of rain after we did the first application and it's just been far too wet to reapply with the water, soap, and Tabasco sauce. So unfortunately, since we weren't able to do the reapplication, the aphids did come back and they had them remultiplying. But we went ahead and blasted them again now that we have a sunny day on our hands. And we're just going ahead and misting them again with the soapy water with a hint of Tabasco sauce. Hopefully the weather will be cooperating a little bit better for us so that we can apply it maybe once every other day or so until we see these aphids continue to disappear. As is the case when working in the garden, sometimes the weather does not cooperate. And unfortunately, after our first application of the soapy water with the Tabasco sauce, we had days of rain. And this meant that we weren't able to effectively reapply it. As a result, uh, we had limited success with the aphids, but we continue to combat them, especially now that we have some sunny weather again. And so go ahead and subscribe to this to see if we end up working on conquering these nemesis in the garden.